Hi there, my name is Anderson Campbell. I am a product marketing manager at Zoom Info. Today, we're going to use workflows to create automatic, repeatable, and scalable plays using Zoom Info buying intelligence. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started by clicking on workflows in the top nav bar. By default, when you click on workflows and the new workflows experience, this is where it will land you is on the new workflows playbook. Uh, these plays are essentially workflows templates. So instead of having to build something from scratch, choosing a trigger and several actions, you can read about a play that you want to run here and then click on try it. Uh, so let's try this website's site visit targeting. We've read that this is going to allow us to prospect companies in our buying committee when they have visited our website and get them right enrolled into a campaign in one of my connected business systems. So let's try it. Click on the try it button and it takes us over to the new workflows builder. Uh, the title of the play is up in the top here and I can change that but just by clicking on rename and you'll notice that as I make changes, it's going to save those changes automatically all the way through. So we're auto saving every time a change is made. You'll notice that since we launched a play, it comes with a trigger and some actions already configured. The things in blue have are things that have already been chosen for me. I can still configure those. Things in gray are selections that I have yet to make and that need to be configured before this play is going to be finished. Let's look at the trigger first. When someone visits, my domain on any page from any company, then when that's the trigger, do these things. If I wanna further customize this trigger, clicking anywhere in here will load customization for the trigger and we'll see in a moment any actions over on the right-hand side. Uh, the frequency, we can adjust the frequency that this trigger runs. We can further customize which domain I want to put this on, even which URL. If I wanted to do this on just a specific page or collection of pages, um, I can specify that here in the URL. To apply filters on the kinds of companies, as this says, any company, I can click on Apply Zoom Info Filters, and this will launch over the workflow, a, a pretty familiar looking screen. This hasn't changed much so far, where I can come in and specify the kind of company that I want to uh, trigger the visit you'll see that that is now updated in the natural language. I can continue to configure here, discover up to 20 Zoom Info contacts with no contact filters. Let's say I want to limit this to five and I wanna make sure that they're in my buying committee. So I've clicked on apply Zoom Info filters, show buying committee only. And then once it's discovered those, what do I want it to do? Well, I want it to export to a campaign and assign it to a particular user in that campaign. So I click here and again, over on the right, these are my options. In this case, we will export to uh, Salesforce. And up at the very top, this is where I can adjust the duplicate settings moving forward for the different business systems that I'm exporting to. Add to campaign is automatically turned on because of the play that we launched. We're trying to add these contacts to a campaign. And then for new records that are created, I have the option of choosing which person or persons that I wanna rotate assignment to. So once I've got this all configured, it is ready to go. It's been saving this whole time. I can toggle the workflow on and that's it. I have configured a play. It's ready to run, ready to export. All right. That's it. We have set up a workflow using a play from the Zoom Info playbook, and it's ready to run and start sending prospects our way. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.